round champion yesterday, Kate Richardson. Richardson scored a 9.125 to qualify, but in yesterday's competition scored a 9.6 on this apparatus. series of difficult jumps. She's got to try and get her back leg up to head height. Not quite and she misses that connection which is worth a bonus point to her and it's a slight overbalance there. She's a big arch. Comes down to the beam. It'll be interesting to see how the judges treat that technically. You could say it's a fall, although she has controlled it to the beam. And also probably missing that connection there, so she's not as spot on as she was yesterday by any stretch of the imagination. Ten seconds to dismount, the time is gone. So minor errors creeping in there throughout the routine. How will they add up those minor errors in the judges' minds? And firstly, it's going to affect her start value. She did achieve a start value of 10 yesterday, but with that performance today, she'll be missing some of her bonus points. Starts off nicely. Handstand step down into two layout step outs. Alana Slater scored a 9.137. Acrobatic series, as we said earlier, a dance or dance acrobatic connection. A turn of 360 degrees. A leap, hop, or jump with 100. You'll see she misses her connection here. She needs to keep everything moving. She's gone off to the side slightly. D value or skills. From and the second front aerial coming in there, she connects that to a Corbett flick. And then Corbett flick on the beam. The dismount, she needs to accelerate into the second flick. Dismount, back foot to one foot, back foot to two, and a double tuck back somersault to finish. And a one-tenth deduction for putting the foot behind her. Now, uh, where's the score? 9.2, so she's overhauled Alana Slater. 